Okay guys, welcome back to the Whistle and Straits practice round and preparation for the PGA Championship. So, we've not played well, we're plus two at the moment. Two really bad putting errors. Um, so, do we see? Two, three, three. Um, let's club down. This is tough. Mm, well, it's kind of safe, but oh my god, it's going to be a long, long putt. Not terrible, but it's not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Uh, we don't even have a green grid, so <coughs> I'm a two foot down. Wow. <sighs> it's gonna be a laggy putt here. I, I really, I mean, that's a, I mean, to go maximum um, difficulty level for this game. This this would be it. We'd be switching the, the 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 green grid off, but I really don't see a point in doing it because I mean you can't really. How are you meant to read this? I mean I can see it slopes like that way, but what does it do after that? I, I, you know. Oh my goodness! That wasn't even close. Wow. <laughs> but I mean, I just don't see. It would just add a difficulty level that you just can't really. I don't know. I feel with the green grid, it gives you an idea of the break, but you've still got to really eyeball it and see the break. Goodness. Really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Wow, another that bogey. Best effort right there. That's a bogey. And now three open. Frank, check out all the bunkers on the right. On the rocks, that's what I'm gonna on one hand, that's for sure. Just um an another example of how Pete Dye is just uh is going to work in the way in which he's he's protected these holes. That one is bunker. Bad. Oh my it's goodness! Like... Oof. God, it's, it's actually in the rough. It's not in the bunker. So where the hole is cut? Just oh my goodness! Pretty decent. On the green, looking at a birdie opportunity. Just one. Yeah, uh, I was watching Twitch. Uh, some people online playing uh, this game on Twitch, and it's always the same. They've always got the the blue arc on the arcade swing. I think one guy had the blue arc, but he was playing with a kind of modified swing meter, so it was maybe like a two pro type swing meter where you go percentage you know, fast, slow, back and and your downswing. Uh, but he's still playing with the blue arc on and he was like forty under par and the AI was twelve under was second place. I mean but I really just don't see the point in it. I need the putting beads on and all that kind of stuff. Uh pretty lame to be honest. I mean I play this game to me the way a lot of people really should play it. You know, it just makes the game just a lot tougher. Oh my god, these greens are oh. just a weak effort right there. Oh, these greens are horrible. They're really tough. Um, no two ways about it. Shouldn't be a problem here. 
Um, but yeah, they play with the boy arc, and it, it, there's just no fun in it. I mean, the way I play it, I play it tough. I mean, I've got right, a, some courses and certain wind conditions. Um, but you know, if it's one to two miles per hour wind conditions, you're, you're teeing off and you're going great. We've got a chance of really scoring well here. And that's what it's all about. It's about maximising your scoring ability when the conditions are right. But when the conditions are tough, then it's a, a struggle to keep par. You know, it's not going to be low 60s. Uh, I mean, I probably could shoot a sub 60 like a 59 but you'd have to be on your game and absolutely in the zone like to the maximum ability you know but people play this arcade blue art swing it just does my head in it's quite worse we should have been closer with that um, so I just feel that I give a, a good quality of game uh, you know, the AI is close, it's, you know, we're not going to win every tournament, especially with the injury system, which I think makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, these these people that play these settings are just, and it, it, you see a lot of people playing with the arcade swing, or the, the, the blue arc. Um, I just don't enjoy it, to be honest. You know, I like to see somebody playing it at this kind of level. Oh, come on! We need to... Can we really do make some birthday parts? You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Go. Make part. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I just, I see it all the time, and I, I just, yeah, I think people should play at a high standard, because when you play somebody else that's playing a kind of weaker standard, it's a lot easier to play, you know, it's like any game, really, you should play a game at its highest setting, or have an attempt at playing it in its highest setting, and then see... Just see how difficult it is um, to play it at that level. But if you do play at a high level and you play online against somebody and you get put beads on, you've got this, you've got that, it, it just makes the game so much easier to play. Um, but these people that play with the blue arc, you know, you put them in this mode, they'll be like, oh, what did I do here? I, I, I can't see. Well, did you learn anything from playing with the blue arc? Mm, no, because you use the blue arc as like a, oh, I need to be, wait, I need to go further because, ah, oh, that's it, it's perfect, hit it. But you don't really maybe look to see, you know, how everything's affected by that. You know, I just enjoy playing it at this level. Oh, you. Right there, Sometimes you would probably argue against it. Oh, that's going to be, oh, my goodness. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Uh, 11 wins in the face. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, so I mean, people that play it that way, but it's, it's not even really fun to watch because it's... This will be a five it, it, you don't have the elements where you misread a shot and you end up maybe in a bad place, or you know. No fireworks, but There's just that. no interest in it. Well, that's what I think anyway. We're now at the eleventh hole, and this is a huge. Right, we get a par there. Um, still plus three, but we're really struggling here. This hole bends to the right, which sort of makes you think that you can hit it down the right side. But if you miss down the right, there's just a multitude of bunkers that'll swallow up that ball. Oh no! No! <laughs> right, that is a bunker. We're not going to get out of. We're not going to be able to reach the green. So we're going to have to splash out 
Frank, just a slight miss off the tees in the fairway bunker. Oh really my goodness. Pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker. Choke down. And second shot. Oh, oh god, why'd you hurt the... That's a bit off oh the my rest. goodness. Oh, this course can really just chew you up. This is... God, this is a embarrassing, man. <sighs> wow. Uh, <coughs> Oh my goodness. No, we're not. No, 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 no. No way. We're not. There's no way we're going to make that ridge. 116. I can probably roll it down here somewhere. There we go. Oh man, take the medicine. Couldn't make the drink, but at least he's back in flight. Played the smart shot right there. Now practice round about Frank, actually learning anything from five. this. How reachable is it? Well, probably chances uh, of uh, getting home there. You're going to need something around the 340. Don't know, maybe not. Well, if you've done that, well, oh, it's thing painful. To be aware of is that huge bunker, that huge deep bunker, short left of this green. Common thread here, rough, rough, rough. Long way again. Frank, it's a hard game to play from the high grass. That, and that's where he's been more often than not today. Oh my goodness. where he was aiming, but still enough room to get it up and down. Oh, this is really tricky today. It's almost a case where, do we really want to upload this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that really hurts, Frank. Missing the bogey putt. Yeah, no, no the, time that, that, the, the cart Double today is up. just... He's really just arsing about to the highest level and I've never really been affected as much as this today, but I honestly could. Just slides by. Oh my yeah, goodness. No, there's too many of those out here today. This one was just a nightmare from the start and now he has this for triple. Oh, you are kidding me? Well, he knew it right from the start. Just a poor putt. <sighs> Quadruple wow. bogey. Jeez. Ugly, awful, pathetic. Pick the adjective. It fits on this hole. Now to the twelfth, short little part. Oh three. my goodness, yeah, I'm speechless at that. I like to think it's a birdie opportunity. One of the biggest problems here though was putting. This green, anything other than flat. Wow. Seems to like it. For the back part of the green. Oh man. This is maybe not the best thing to put up for a practice round, to be honest. He knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. Oh god, the putts are just horrendous in this, this course. It's a sort of distance. If he goes in, it's a bonus. This golf course playing tough today. They're at seven, seven over par. Thirteenth hole now. Hey guys, that's going to conclude this part. Uh, I think we're safe to say we absolutely destroyed our mentality here. We're just not, <laughs> not in the zone. Cats playing up. Everything's just going really bad. Um, so, well, hit subscribe if you want it. Um, it's really hard to get the words up here. So join us for the next part. Hopefully we can maybe do better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.